the respiratory system. Your body needs oxygen in order to live. Breathing is a continuous cycle. An average person breathes 20,000 times a day. During inhalation, your body takes in oxygen, which is used in many body processes. Breathing is a body mechanism performed by your respiratory system. The primary function of the respiratory system is to allow the exchange of gases in the body. Specifically, it distributes oxygen to the different parts of the body and releases carbon dioxide out of the body. Parts of the respiratory system Nose, nasal cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, lungs which consists of the alveoli and diaphragm. The respiratory system has an upper tract and a lower tract. The upper tract consists of the nose, nasal cavity, and pharynx. The lower tract consists of the larynx, trachea, bronchial tubes, and the lungs. The upper respiratory tract. The nose and nasal cavity. The nose is the outer part of the respiratory system. The nose has two openings called nostrils, separated by a strong and flexible cartilage. Inside the nose is a hollow spaces called cavities. The nasal cavity are lined with mucus and hair-like structure called cilia. The hairs or cilia filter and trap dust and dirt in the air. The mucous membrane that line the nasal cavities have plenty of blood vessels. They warm and moisten the air that you breathe. Because of the action of mucous membrane and cilia, the air that enters your lungs is already free from dust and dirt. When you blow your nose, you are able to remove the germs and dirt that got stuck in your nose. Thus, they are prevented from entering your body. Pharynx From the nasal cavity, the clean, warm, moist air passes through the pharynx. The pharynx is a tube about 13 cm long found at the back of the throat. The pharynx separates into two tubes. One is the esophagus leading to the stomach and the other tube is the trachea leading to the lungs. It serves as the passageway for the air and food. The tonsils and the adenoids located on the pharynx trap and destroy the bacteria trap in the mucous membrane. Your mouth and nasal cavities open and lead into the pharynx. This enables you to breathe even you have a bad cold. The lower respiratory tract. Larynx, located at the lower end of the pharynx and on the top of the trachea is a box-like structure called the larynx. It is commonly called the voice box. The voice box contains the vocal cords. The air passing over the vocal cords may cause them to vibrate. Thus, sound is produced. The greater the force of the air, the louder the sounds. At the opening of the larynx is a special flap tissue called the epiglottis. It encloses the larynx when you swallow the food and drink. When the epiglottis fails to close when swallowing, then the food enters the larynx. Have you experienced being choked while eating? You choke whenever the epiglottis fails to close the passageway of the air when a food particle accidentally finds its way to the trachea instead of the esophagus. That's why you should not talk and swallow at the same time to avoid choking. The trachea or windpipe the trachea or windpipe is a stiff tube about 11 cm long and 2 cm in diameter that leads to the lungs. 
It is also lined with mucus and cilia that rub the dirt and dust and swept them away from the lungs by coughing or sneezing. Bronchi, bronchioles, and alveoli. In the chest, the trachea branches into two tubes called the bronchi or bronchial tubes. The bronchi are short tubes that direct air into the right and left lungs. Each bronchial tube branches into smaller tubes called bronchioles. The bronchioles lead into tiny air sacs called the alveoli. Each alveolus is an air sac in the lungs where gases are exchanged. Each alveolus is surrounded by tiny blood vessels called capillaries. The walls of capillaries are thin and moist, allowing easy gas exchange. There are about 600 million air sacs in the lungs. Lungs Your two lungs, which make up most of the space inside the chest cavity, are the major organs of the respiratory system. The right lung is divided into three parts called lobes. The smaller left lung is divided into only two lobes. Each lung is surrounded by a thin membrane called the pleura. Pleura allows the lungs to slide freely as they expand and contract when you breathe. Diaphragm Beneath the lungs is the diaphragm, a dome-shaped muscle that works with your lungs to allow you to breathe in and breathe out. It separates the chest cavity from the abdominal cavity. It is the main muscle for breathing. Taking care of our respiratory system. Breathe clean and fresh air. Avoid places where the air is heavily polluted. Avoid smoking or secondhand smoke. Stay away from people who are infected with respiratory ailments. Observe proper hygiene. Eat plenty of fruits and vegetables. Exercise regularly to keep your body strong and healthy. Consult a doctor for any sign of respiratory ailment. Cover your nose and mouth when sneezing. Vaccinate young children.